15,000 followers on there. And he's a penguin that does a lot of TV work for us. He, um, he's worked with Sir David Attenborough. He's done advertisements for, for certain companies in the past as well. Lots of modelling work. And he's just a, a very local celebrity that we're hoping is going to be crowned the most popular penguin in the world. Is that spike next to you? Because we saw a, <laughs> saw a shot a bit earlier of all the penguins. We weren't entirely sure which was which. No, we've got Lily beside me, who's oh. um, our oldest female here. World, isn't there? Tell us about the, the penguin community and who the other candidates might be. <laughs> well, there was, um, there was 32 zoo penguins nominated from, from all around the place. So Australia, Ireland, Canada, um, Hawaii, um, about 10 different species of penguin. And uh, it was it started, it's like the FA Cup final. You start off um, 32 penguins nominated. Um, and it's been knockout rounds on final. You start off um, 32 penguins nominated um, and it's been knockout rounds on, on Facebook and Instagram and, and the, their website. And uh, Spike has seen off competition from Australia, uh, a penguin from Ireland. He's seen off a couple of penguins from America. And now he's currently in the final against an African penguin called May, who lives over in Hawaii. Oh. We're just seeing oh. Spike versus May. It's like some sort of boxing match or something, isn't it? Yeah, yeah May looks, looks like a different breed or species. It doesn't have Spike's sort of full majestic thing going on. No, well, King Penguins, uh, like Spike, are the second largest breed. Um, they stand about two and a half foot tall, whereas most other species of penguin are about a foot shorter than that. So he's, he's a bit of a heavyweight in this competition, you could say. I love that. So, I mean, this is all a bit of fun, but actually there's quite a serious conservation message behind it, isn't there? Yeah. Um, unfortunately, out of 18 species of penguin alive today, 14 of them are in, are in massive trouble. So Penguins International are just raising awareness about the plight of penguins in the wild. Uh, they do a lot of support work um, conservation-wise. They're, they're sponsoring nest boxes for certain types of penguin. They're doing a lot of research into the effects of pollution in the Antarctic and they're raising awareness through lots of education programmes as well. So for us to get involved with that is brilliant. Alistair, we've only got a few seconds. Is there anything we can do to get Spike closer to the camera so we can see him? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, he's, he's not playing ball. I've been trying him with the fish bucket all morning. I've been playing him videos of himself as a baby penguin, which normally gets him excited, but he's, he's, he's not in the mood today. Oh, oh but he's that... just turning round a little bit to us. There he is. We've just got a little bit of a view of Spike. Oh, Alistair, it is great to talk to you. Wish you <laughs> and Spike all the very best. There he is. Look, just in the last few seconds, he turns around to say hi. Are you sure that's Spike, Sally? Yeah, I am sure that's Spike. Not the one on the right at the back? No, I'm just going to say it.